Hey guys, welcome to another time in a review. Today we have like a kung fu blockout uh, of uh, Neil, and I think he's struggling a little bit with the blockout, or he needs some help. So we're gonna try and help him in trying to actually clarify a little bit of the things that are right, that are wrong, things that can be improved on in this time in a review. So without further ado, let's get to it. Right, so welcome. If this is the first time of you guys here, my name is Harvey Newman, and I like to share my passion for animation here in this channel with all of you. Now, this is a section where we actually review animations from people on my Discord, by animators on my Discord server that basically want feedback or want to actually showcase their animations for help. And every two weeks, I go ahead and pick one animation so I can review it, help out give my insight into what's good, what's bad about the animation and what can be improved on. If you would like to actually have your animations reviewed this way, join my Discord, link down below so you guys can actually also go through this. Also, if this video proves useful to you, consider subscribing if you haven't so far, liking and comment below about what do you think about the shot, the review and all of that goodness. Now, let's get to it. All right, so this is the, the shot by Neil. And there's lots of good stuff here, nails. So awesome, awesome work. So let's have a look, play it a few times. All right. So you might see for the audience here, you might see some notes here. This is basically other people that are very experienced animators in our server also uh, commenting and giving feedback, some notes to Neil so he can improve on. So it's just, it's not just myself, it's other people. And I forgot to add a timer. So let me just add a timer as well and there you go cool so once again playing the animation a few times see how it is yeah looking looking nice looking nice um also i've noticed that you have a third person camera i like this as well i have some notes but i like the fact that you're thinking about it from a gameplay perspective instead of just being like a an animation shot which is nice now going back to this actually maybe i'll come i'll comment in the camera first um so and then we can comment in the animation so the third person camera that you have here i like how you're kind of giving um a gameplay aspect to it you have to kind of decide which one you're going to go for because you need to work towards a specific camera unfortunately as much as you can work on other angles for sure but you are going to take certain decisions as an animator based on the camera that you're animating toward right and if you animate towards the gameplay camera you're going to make certain decisions based on that camera because you know it's over the shoulder and if you're going to have a camera like this which is going to be like sideways you're going to take completely different decisions based off that based on the silhouette of the character and all that goodness now for the third person camera at the moment you have almost like a top-down view of the character so you're looking above the character so what i suggest to you and every anybody that wants to make a gameplay shot in maya is to study games go into not necessarily play the game you can actually go onto youtube and then watch a gameplay or a playthrough of god of war or um i don't know near automata or any of those games that are basically got it spot on and I like highly praised for their animations and their setups and the feel and all these other things. So if you go to one of those games, just press play and watch. And then certain things that jump, to, jump at you, rewatch it, replay it, slow it down, analyze it. Because what you will realize is that the camera normally is not really top down like this. It's normally like, like spot on, like in, like behind the character, right? And the idea is for you to kind of like follow the character as well as you are walking, as you are making movements. So you need to have that camera close by. Uh, normally it ends up being like from around here. Like this is kind of like the camera that you have and it's like closer to the character and more like at the same eye level as the character or a little bit higher, but not very much. So you can almost feel like you are the character and you are hitting uh, certain things. If you do it this way, it feels very much like you are an observer you are an audience looking at what the character is doing and it doesn't feel connected to the character. The whole idea for game play cams is for you to feel one with a character. So the more you can do that, the better it is. And then something else to actually note is the fact that like when you make certain moves, the camera should move with the character as you're making moves, right? Once again, an extension of the character. So you want to make sure that 
when it, whenever he goes and then again and the camera is kind of like going with the character now you should never address or pay attention to the camera as you are animating it you should always have the camera be invisible you're just there to witness the action however when you're making certain action uh, moves or the character is moving a certain way you can actually keep leave the camera behind a little bit and then bring it forward again so any fast action that you have is completely understandable in games that as, as soon as you do the fast action because you are so fast the camera doesn't move one to one with the character the camera actually stays behind as the character is making the move and then it follows a little bit after so it's almost like this slow pan as you go through and finish the move and then you go to the next one now you can have quite a few of those connected so you can have like one two three and the character is almost like an elastic thing but you should never feel almost like the camera is like strobing or moving in a weird way if you have more than one one attack and they are really really fast it's better to just maybe either just leave the camera behind and one two three happens and then you catch up with the character or you have the camera kind of following through the action more closely instead of having this elastic effect going but you just kind of things that you have to once again go back to gameplay and see how certain games definitely cry is a good example um and um uh, what's the other game um man i'm thinking about a platinum game that now escapes my mind but there's many platinum games that actually do a really good job with the camera so go ahead and analyze those because they they will give you a better sense of what the what the camera is doing now another thing that you can think about is that when you have a camera like this right like i mentioned before and similar to other games um when you're actually starting to making the move and actually moving away from the camera it's actually wise to kind of like see more of the character as you are making mo the, the movement so you start with this kind of camera with where you can see the knees but when you are when you are doing the action you can actually have the camera more like this so you can actually see more of the character as you are making the movements that helps you to kind of like read better the whole action as you are making it uh because at that point especially if it's a third person game you want to make sure that the player has a sense of where the character is at all times but this is once again is optional and is based on you and based on your research on what you want to do in this shot um and something final <laughs> on this game gameplay cam you are always aiming at the center of the screen with most games no matter what you're doing most games normally you have basically the camera is split so you have the the camera this is the camera and then you have basically a middle a lot of the cameras excuse me because i'm drawing with my mouse but the center of the screen um, should be the thing that you are hitting as you are it doesn't matter if you're actually shooting or if you are hitting or if you're slicing or if you're just like doing poking like you're doing now it doesn't matter what it is you, your stick should basically be aiming at the center of the screen because otherwise it's disorienting for the player you can actually aim around here right you can have it like go past the center and go over here or something like that but normally you are aiming most of the time for the center of the screen and the more precise the weapon is like a weapon for example like a pistol or a rifle the more you want it center because players really want to be precise with a weapon so uh, when you get that camera to be like super like you know focused make sure they that you have the center of the screen always uh, in mind um in mind there's an option if you go to camera and select grid grid view You'll be able to see a grid in front of you that basically splits the camera your your viewport and you'll be able to actually have that view that camera i do that have that viewport always visible as you are animating and setting your poses and making sure that you're hitting that center of the screen now enough about the third person camera let's look look at your animations um we still have two minutes so i need to be quick so here's what i think when you have your shot and i go about this in most of my anim animation reviews make sure you tell a story at the moment when i press play i just go straight into the action so if you are looking at it from a perspective of somebody looking at your showreel and seeing what you need to do let's say this is a shot that you put in between your showreel like in the middle of your showreel because the action starts straight away me as an audience looking at this i can barely i don't i barely have time to understand what's going on 
and I only catch up with the action more or less here, right? But even then, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on because it's been so quick. It's the whole thing is so quick that I'm like, uh, what's going on? And then I have to watch it a couple of times, maybe. But the problem is when people are actually looking at your showreel, especially if it's for work, sometimes they don't even watch it twice. They just, this is too much. So they just let it go. So what you need to do is basically build a slight anticipation to the beginning of this, this shot and have a little bit of uh, acting to it, right? So instead of just like starting with a, with a poking or with a, this, sorry, I'll say poking, but it's actually slicing. Um, so instead of just going straight into this, right? Maybe have him either either have the weapon somewhere and then flip it and go into dispose and then hit it or maybe have him like having the weapon like this and then go into action mode or something along the lines that gives you a little bit of time or gives me as an audience time to understand what's about to happen. And then once you have it, have that before this, then you can go into like the little, you know, pokey action. So I, I'm going to keep calling it pokey because it's easier. <laughs> but yeah, going into this action will help you a lot. Something else to keep in mind is your like timing of the animation. The way I like to see animation is almost like a song that's like, you know, highs and lows and not everything is even. At the moment, everything happens very quickly. So there's a, a hit, 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 and then that's it, right? And as you can you can hear from me just seeing hit, 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 hit. Everything is even, right? So what you need is basically going like maybe one hit and then give it some time, right? To anticipate for the next hit. The anticipation here can serve as another place for you to kind of like get into the next hit, right? But no two hits should kind of hit at almost at the same time. You should have like fast, slow, fast, fast, slow, something that actually kind of makes things slightly uneven and have a sense of cadence, right? To the whole animation. So think about those things. I'll shut up now because I've gone over the 10 minutes, but it's a cool shot. I like the idea. Just keep those things in mind, Neil, as you are actually going forward. I hope this helps. Now, as I mentioned before, if this was useful to you, consider subscribing, liking, commenting below, and join the Discord server if you'd like to have your shot reviewed just like Neil had. Until next week, stay well, stay safe. Peace.